Okay, so today I want to talk about starting a YouTube channel in 2020 and the biggest fears that I've had over the past few weeks to start this channel. It's quite bizarre, I've I done a lot of theatre, done a lot of drama schools, things like that. Even going back to high school I was included in, in these kind of activities. But as soon as I started this channel it felt really unnatural. Looking at a camera, nothing about, no script, no improv. It's a really awkward situation. So today I want to put across my concerns that I had, how I've started getting over them. Still early days, so I'm still getting hit by a lot of these insecurities, but the best things that you can do just to get started. This is Let's Talk Dividends, my name is Ian Robertson and welcome. So the number one fear that I had was the judgement of other people. And the best thing you can do is just get started. You would have seen this everywhere, but it definitely is the best thing you can do. Even if it's just an iPhone, a Samsung, an old version, whatever you've got, just start recording. Try to put content up and practice in front of the camera. The first video I took, I, I done took around, phew, probably around two hours of recording just to get that six, seven minute clip because I kept stopping, you'll see it, the edit, the editing in it is really, is really prominent, you can see it happening all the time. So the best thing you can do is just start, you will not be comfortable for the first probably 100 videos until it really starts to feel natural and you don't need to think about what you're saying. But just do it. If you've got extra kit, if you've got a camera, if you've got a mic and a tripod like I invested in, even better, it does put the pressure on a bit more because you've made that investment. But nonetheless, just start. It's the best thing you can do and it's the only way that you'll start to begin to feel comfortable making these videos. What I would say for the next thing is don't worry too much about location, the, back, the background setting, the, the whole atmosphere of the videos. I was really concerned about this. You look at the professionals, the, the million subscriber videos, and they've got excellent backdrops, they've got cars and they're in custom garages and the, the whole kit, they've got the best gear and you think to yourself, there's no way that I can look at that or look like that. Now I'm sitting on my staircase at the moment, just at the bottom of the hall. So just to show you that as long as you've got some light and a camera, you can do it. I wouldn't do it in the dark, make sure that you're clear, make sure that you can be heard okay. Pronunciation is a good thing as well. I'm Scottish, so I don't have the best pronunciation, but I'm still trying my hardest. But the best thing is just to click that camera record button. Don't worry about all the, the backdrop and the location settings and the kind of stuff you're wearing and you're advertising brands. That'll come. You'll get to that at a later date. Just start recording. These things will come over time. You'll start to earn money. You'll start to be able to build a new location. Maybe a new backdrop. Whatever it may be. Better equipment. But just start. Just hit that record button no matter where your location is or what your settings are. Now probably the biggest worry that I had going into this was what other people would think. It's quite bizarre, as I said at the start, I've been to like amateur drama groups and done it through school, music, concerts, gigs, small gigs obviously, but nonetheless I performed live in front of people. Yet doing this was probably one of the most uncomfortable things that I've done yet. And it's a strange feeling, but the only way you'll get over that is by doing the videos. If you let the judgments of 20 people stop you when there's what around 7 billion people on the planet, you'll never get anywhere. There will be plenty of people who will enjoy your content, you just have to start and they will find your videos and you will find their support. But don't hold yourself back just because some friends or old friends, whatever they may be, will judge you in your videos. That's ludicrous, they'll dislike it, they'll laugh, but that's their issue. The best thing you can do just start, you will find your support network out there, you will find a great following as long as you're putting up great content and you are strong in front of that camera and that will come but just do it, do not worry about what other people have got to say. So probably the last one that really got to me was the financial investment. Now I decided to buy a Canon M50 as recommended to me, I bought a decent mic, tripod, the light, I bought the lot. That was a scary investment, but it kind of felt the way that when I started investing into a portfolio, 
financially, stocks and shares felt when I, at the early stages. It's scary. You're putting money into something that you do not know where that's going to turn out. You don't know if you put money into a stock or a share, will the company collapse? What happens with your money? How do you get it back? And I felt the same starting this channel. It's a big investment and I don't earn huge amounts of money. I don't have, you know, six figure a year salary and all that kind of thing. So it is a major investment. And not only that, but it's time investment. I thought to myself, could I be putting my time better elsewhere? But then I knew that this was for me. I knew that I wanted to create this channel and I knew that I wanted to create this content. So the, the time value was there for me. Financially, it was scary, but knowing what the future can bring out of not only this channel, but helping other people create their channels and the surrounding social media that I'll have going along with this, it was worth it. It is scary. I would not prioritise it over essential bills. Like I said in my first video, if you've got essential bills, if you've got things that you can clear off, that will give you even more money per month to put towards things like this. But if you've got spare income, put it towards a channel, put it towards an interest, even if it's not a YouTube channel, if it's a blog or if it's anything along the kind of lines, an Instagram page that you want to write about a subject that you're interested in, just start. Put that bit of income that you would usually put towards a takeaway or whatever it may have been, 20, 30 pounds here or dollars, wherever you are in the world, put it towards this channel, put it towards your interest. Trust me, it is beneficial over the long term. Now, I'm very early stages in this, I've been grinding it out every single day and I'm starting to become really addicted to it. Every day I'm on Instagram at Let's Talk Dividends. We are putting out, or I am putting out content constantly two or three times a day on stock market news and that will grow further. And looking at different revenue streams, different ways to make this a full-time lifestyle choice for me, because I really do love it now that I've started. But back to the first point, the, the hardest thing with starting the channel is the nerves going in front of cameras, and what if people are going to judge you, what will people say, even creating thumbnails, taking pictures of yourself, and you know, try to pose for it. It is so bizarre and it feels strange, Trust me, it is beneficial to your life just to get started. Even if it's not a YouTube channel, just get started in what you like doing and what you enjoy doing. It will make your life feel so much better, so much easier. You only get one shot, so take that chance. Don't hesitate for the next two or three years, then the market becomes even more saturated. Also, don't let people tell you that the market is already too saturated. There's always room for some good content if you're the person to create it. And why could it not be you to be the person to create it? So I'm going to wrap this video up here. I know it was a bit off subject and I'm very early stages into my career on YouTube. But I wanted to share my concerns and how I got, how I got started and how I got over some of their fears. And a lot of them I'm not over yet. But I just wanted to share that with you today and let you know that you're not alone when it comes to this. Everyone started in this same situation. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out any of the content and it supports this channel a lot going ahead in the future. We've got huge plans for a lot of quality content coming. We're working with different people to try and bring the best content that we can, but also realistic content, not stuff that's I'm investing 100000 a month and things like that. We want to show that everyone can invest and we want to encourage everyone to build a better future with investments. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope to see you soon.